The largest sports contract in history now belongs to Japanese baseball player Shohei Otani. What does this mean for baseball and Asians in sports? Yeah, see, it means that America's pastime, she is becoming like California, the state of California, all Asians and Latinos. <laughs> Um, and or Shohei Otani, 10 years, 700 million. It's the biggest contract in the history of sports. Clap it up for Shohei. Wow. Andrew, he's considered the best two-way baseball player of all time. I guess would this be comparable to like being Tom Brady on the quarterback side and Ray Lewis on the linebacker side? No, or, or maybe it's not that extreme, something like no, that. No, we're going to talk about why he got paid so much. And there, it, it does all kind of work out in the math of things. But there's a couple pressing questions. First of all, Shout out to Shohei because, but I have a question. Is this going to inspire a bunch of Asian parents to push their kids and particularly boys into baseball? Okay. Number two, how does this change the perception of Asian guys and Asians in sports in general, right? And then also number three, if by baseball viewership is going down, how can they pay somebody so much? Yeah, these are all good questions. Like we said, we're not baseball experts. We're going to do our best to answer them. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But you know what is popping right now? Maybe it ain't, it ain't doing Shohei numbers, but it's doing numbers. I would love for Smala Sauce to become the Shohei Otani of chili oils. Will it become? I don't know. Only with your help. Only if you try it out. Get it right now. SmalaSauce.com. I think my real quick thoughts are, I don't know if Asian American parents will push their kids in a little bit. Yes and no. I think the success of Stephen Kwan or the other Asian American players might more encourage them because Shohei Otani ultimately is gigantic. He's massive. When he stands next to Yuta Watanabe, they look like brothers. Mm -hmm. And Yuta Watanabe is a Japanese guy who's in the NBA right now. And uh, he came through the Japanese developmental system just like Ichiro, you know, like right. all the other great Japanese players before. So people may be like, well, we're not Japanese growing up in Japan. We would have to come through the American no, farm but system. But what about, what about parents in Japan then who see someone who graduated from the Japanese system making this much money? How money focused are Asian parents? Because I know Asian parents do support baseball, soccer, tennis, and golf over football and basketball. Small ball sports, less contact, yeah. specifically football, super hard contact, yeah. obviously CTE. Yeah. And basketball, you need to be really tall. Yeah. And then another question is, you know, like, you know, there's baseball superstars, mega stars that have kind of crossed over, like Derek Jeter, who's kind of considered like this baseball playboy. You're saying uh, into a mainstream culture beyond yeah. sports. A-Rod, you know, you got Shohei. When are rappers, people going to start referencing Shohei Otani? Because now he is the GOAT baseball player, arguably the GOAT of all time. Uh, Drake just had a line about him, though, or something. I oh, think did Drake, he? I think, I want to say Drake had a Shohei Otani Drake line. Would, Drake would be the one that has it, yes. Yeah, I mean, just to put this in perspective, LeBron is on a two-year, $99 million contract. What will Shohei Otani do with all the money? Uh, there was a lot of jokes about, like, you know, even though he's getting $70 million a year over 10 years, California's going to take half of it off the rip. Right. So he already is down at 34. Right, right, right. Um, other people were saying, you know, this is going to inflate all the contract numbers throughout baseball because baseball is the only sport, Andrew, I believe, no salary cap. Uh, so that changes the economics completely. Yeah, and we'll talk about how it's actually justified to pay him $700 million because that 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 was a question. I was like, wait, for 10 years until he's 39 years old, you're going to be paying him $700 right. million? That's almost... Almost a billion. Well, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, is baseball still popular enough for someone to be paid that much? And someone said, a lot of baseball is dying and people are going to the ballpark less. However, people are still watching it on TV. Um, but a lot of people really brought up, Andrew, ultimately it comes down to the value because he is a ultra big superstar in Japan. Uh, and guess what is the number one sport in Japan, which is a top three economy in the world? Right. Baseball. I don't think... It's because he's from Japan, though. That's why the price. I, I disagree with that narrative. I think it's the TV deal that the Dodgers have, which is gigantic. And the Dodgers, although may not always be an amazing team, they have huge TV deals because they have a huge fan base. Right. And, and to justify his contract, he is a two-way player. So it's like you're getting a top-level running uh, linebacker and a top-level quarterback in one person yeah. that can play both sides of the field. So, of course, the contract's going to be bigger. I think for sure the Japan marketability certainly plays into the size of the contract or the length of the contract. I think it though, helps. The Dodgers are already a huge team in Japan because a lot of Japanese already live in L.A., so the Japanese media doesn't even need to move or anything like that. Well, it's like if... Not, not the same level, but if Jeremy Lin during Linsanity happened on the Lakers, 
then he probably gets a, a larger contract. But I'm not saying... I mean, it happened on the Knicks. Yeah. It couldn't happen on a higher profile team than the Knicks in a way too. Right, right, right. So I think that, yeah, obviously marketability comes into play. I think he would be a, probably a $500 million player regardless, but the extra $200 million might be because of all the deals like the Dodgers like ownership is going to secure on the back end with, you know, Tokyo and things like Possibly. that. Possibly. You guys let us know. Um, somebody were just talking about the taxes and like, man, it's so crazy that the government takes half your money and gives it to other countries. So it's really interesting, Andrew, because I was looking up a bunch of Shohei Otani posts and the discussion on each comment section went in a whole different direction. Other people started, you know, criticizing sports contracts or how much they're more play paid than civil workers, mm. civil service workers. Other people are criticizing like government expenditures. Why do you think anytime somebody gets the biggest contract in sports history, it's just like, it just sparks all these other seemingly unrelated discussions. Yeah, I mean, people, I'm, I'm sure, you know, people were talking about Patrick Mahomes' contract, which is pretty large too. And it's like, I, I guess it's tough because if you understand entertainment, you're going to be able to justify the $700 million over 10 years based off TV deals, endorsements, the marketability. Jersey sales. The like fact I that he is a great baseball player on both ends. So it's like. I'm going to go ahead and say one most overlooked aspect is back-end deal-making in, like, uh, let's just say a Japanese, like, water filtration I, company wants to do business I mean, in America. I'm not going to lie. going to be facilitated at Dodger Stadium in a luxury suite. Dave, I'm not going to lie. I had a horrible hot dog the one game I went to a Dodgers game, but I want a Shohei jersey. Yes. I might get a Dodgers Shohei jersey, and I don't even rep the Dodgers like that. Um, let's get into the other aspects. Andrew, what do you think it'll do for Asian guys that, that the, the biggest contract in American sports history or Western sports history? I know some of the Saudi deals on a year-per-year -year basis, they sort of match up, but it's yeah. almost like a lot of people don't really count those, you know, because it's like oil money. But I'm saying that, uh, what do you think about, like, that an Asian has the biggest contract in American sports history. Yeah, and I heard someone was like, yo, it's guaranteed too. Right. Like there's not as many stipulations. Like he might actually just get paid that full 700 million, which is crazy, but. Or, or do you think it matters that it's small ball sports and people view Asians to be good at badminton, golf, you know what I mean? Yeah. Snow I, sports, I, more of the less uh, brutal sports. Well, you know, we've always had good Japanese baseball players from Japan, great. Ichiro, great players from Japan. MVP or MVP yeah. in the running for all yeah, MVP level baseball players from Japan. So it's been like that for decades. So did that uh, 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 um, change Asian America like so much? Like I, I think it's great because Shohei is a good role model. He's six foot four. He's a big, thick dude. Great smile, but doesn't really speak that much English. Um, but now he's like just an amazing baseball player. And it's like, I guess that's a good role model, but it does not shift that much. Right. I don't think he's really considered a sex symbol. He's more like a cool symbol. Like, it reminds me of Ichiro. Ichiro was considered, like, more cool than anything. Yeah, I think, in a way, Ichiro per dollar was considered cooler than Shohei, although Shohei is, a, is the greatest baseball player of all time. Right. Now, how does this change for Asian guys? I mean, I think... I don't know. I don't know. Do Asian guys get really perceived differently because of this? Because how many, I think amongst maybe guys, like bros right, might care right. more I see than that. girls. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there may be some trickle-down impact. I, right. can, I, I can't think about it right now. But I guess, what do you think about this tweet that went viral that said that Yuta Watanabe needs to go to LA and hit up all the clubs and pretend that he's Shohei? Is that even valid? <laughs> Uh, they do look kind of like brothers, though. Yeah, they they actually have a really similar smile, which is funny. But nah, they don't look the same. Not really. Come on. Somebody I mean, that's, said that's a funny joke. Asian Americans need to stop walking on eggshells and val uh, begging for validation from all these other different communities. We got to have our own self respect for ourselves. So I I, I I don't really know exactly what this means. I have I have an idea, but I would like to see Asian guys rock Shohei Otani jerseys, just like I used to rock that Ichiro jersey yeah. so hard around Dude. Seattle because I was just like. Yo, man, I'm I want to represent. Yeah, I I think I think Otani is a great player. I think uh, Japan being the country that all other Asians, to be honest, on some level look up to. Let's be real. Right. He comes from the top Asian or, or, country. Or, or love and hate. Right, but but you know most people take influences from Japan. Whether you're Korean, Chinese, well, even it, Southeast Asian. The you, truth is this: Japanese are really on point. When they put their mind to something, yes. they execute it at a 10 out of 10 I'm not level. saying they got the best hearts. I'm just <laughs> saying they do the best work.
Um, ultimately, Andrew, what are your takeaways, man? I always root for all the Asian American players. I also root from the players uh, for the players from Asia. But I understand that they came up differently. They're coming through uh, academy yeah. systems, private yeah, club yeah. systems. They're uh -huh. getting like hyper trained, focused training for, uh, from a very young age in a country that wants to produce pros. Whereas obviously being Asian American, when you're young, you're more thinking, yo, I got to study the best. I got to be the smartest. I got to be the best yeah. well-read because ultimately my path to success in the West is going to be more as a, as a brain. I mean, let's be worker. honest. Shohei, he's a prodigy. He's a physical specimen, six foot four, can do everything. Yeah, with when his, he stands next to Utah, it's like right, almost left the same hands, size. You know, so he's already a, a outlier. He's a unicorn. So... But yeah, I do think it's inspiring. I think it's inspiring to Asians and Asian guys to just show you like, yo, the greatest baseball player of all time, arguably, most people agree, and the highest paid sports athlete of all time is an Asian dude. Right. He's full Asian. Right, Let's he's... not downplay what it means. I don't want to yeah. overrate what it means. It doesn't mean Asian dudes are a sex symbol now. I think even K-pop did more as a whole industry, of course, because it's like a billion, multi-billion dollar industry, did more for Asian guys in a way than obviously one singular yeah. show. Hey, because his physicality was all the way up. His offense is all the way up and his pitching is all the way up. When Shohei though, if he does start to do media and movies and skits, like being on SNL yeah. or being in movies and having these funny, cool roles, I think that'll be cool to see. Would it be a little bit like Yao Ming having the skill set of Joel Embiid? You mean if Yao Ming... Yeah, but if Yao had been like Joel's skill right. tier in Yao Ming's body. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, it's hard to say, but... Yao was still a really great all-star. Top yeah. three center of his <laughs> era easily. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I, I don't really know what the answer is. It's cool to see. When you see that a Japanese guy has the biggest sports contract in world history, you do go, go yo, it's noteworthy. Yo, do I don't you, know what it means, but it's noteworthy. Do you think the number of Asian-American... Baseball rec teams is exploding. Maybe, maybe I, Asians are like, I, yo, bro, like instead I'll, of playing basketball, why don't we, I, why don't we start a baseball I'll team? I'll say this. I know an Asian guy who played D1 college baseball and he quit because he wasn't having fun anymore. And now he's looking at the success that Asian Americans like Stephen Kwan and obviously the players from Asia, whether Japan or South Korea are having, and he kind of regrets it. Yeah. Well, you know what? A lot, I think a lot of, when he, whenever you see something so crazy like this like the biggest contract all a lot of people they imagine hey you know what if i could just get one tenth of that mm. if i could just get one if i could get five percent of that contract right. i'm happy you know what i mean so if i could be five percent as good as shohei in the pros that's all i need or even one percent technically i mean yeah that's still seven million dollars so anyways guys let us know in the conversation in the comments down below how you feel about it does it affect the way you think about Asians in sports? Does it change how you view how you're going to raise your kids? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Shohei Otani, the richest athlete of all time and the greatest baseball player of all time. Noted. Until next time, we out. Hop Hop Boys. Peace. Peace.